Hello Demi Farms family, welcome here to another episode of the Demi Farm series. I'm Rousseau Demise and Odiambo Vera and of course our cameraman. So in our today's series we are going to show you how to make bucket drip irrigation. So we shared some photos of some of the bucket drip irrigations that were there and we've got a lot of requests of people uh, asking us to show them how the system works. So we've taken the challenge and in today's episode we are going to show you how to make this bucket drip irrigation which is very efficient because you don't even need a pump to pump the water and so we are going to take you step by step on how you're going to make your own bucket irrigation uh, and the things you need so in this uh, phase i'm going to show you what exactly do you need to set up your bucket irrigation so number one you can use a jerry can because this is what will hold water so you can use a jerry can uh, which will hold water and then we will connect the pipes from the jerry can so the best jerry can to use is the one is not the one that is circular if you use this rectangular one is very very good so that is why we have chosen the rectangular uh, jerry can so these ones you can get in the market easily like here in Nairobi we are buying this one at 100 shillings to 150 shillings so that is one you can also use a bigger uh, bucket like this if you're not going to use the jerry can you can use a, a bigger bucket like this one this will carry more water than uh, the 20 liter uh, bucket you can also use um, of course this is a drill i'll show you where to use it you can also use the 20 liter bucket so you can use 20 liter bucket you can use a 20 liter jerry can you can use a, a, a slightly bigger bucket or you can even use uh, the the jerry can so these ones comes in different sizes like this one is 70 70 liters so there is 50 liters 70 liters 100 liters uh, as you continue so for this demonstration we decided to use the 70 liter uh, jerry can so this is um, uh, just locally bought and then now this is what will hold water now once you have anything that will hold your water whether you've chosen the jerry can you've chosen the bucket or you've chosen the bigger uh, sky plus containers the next thing you need is is this so uh, we we have disassembled this because we want to go and install it in the farm so this is called a drip tape so drip tape uh, there is also what we call drip line there is a, a little bit difference but this is drip tape it's a bit more flexible if you're going to buy the drip tape they normally sell them in centimeters so they will ask you like this drip tape is drip tape 15 centimeters so 15 centimeters what we mean is you can see there are holes there are holes where water will be flowing so when water flows in this uh, uh, drip tape there are these holes that will be now watering your plant so the distance between these holes is 15 centimeters so if you go to buy they will tell you for example drip tape how many centimeters so this is drip tape 15 centimeters so these ones the price will depend on where you're buying and which country you're buying from uh, the drip tape so you also need the drip tape and because we are going to do the assembling here uh, we need the drill so the drill is going to be for drilling the hole like we are going to connect the pipe in the jerry cans we need a drill to to do the drilling and then the other thing that uh, you need because uh, water is involved it's a, an irrigation kind of project so we definitely need the irrigation materials so here I'm going to show you some other things that we've bought this is called an end cap so an end cap in this uh, drip tape once you get to the end of your your farm you will cut it and then you you seal it with an end cap so this one when the water is flowing it is this end cap that is going to block the water on the other end so you we have an end cap so we have a number of them here um, so we have a valve here uh, this is uh, called multi-valve 
So this valve is where we are going to use to connect this pipe. So we are going to put one. Uh, so because the, for the jerry can we are going to use two drip lines. So we are going to have two of them. So that when you put water here and then uh, you open it, the water starts flowing into the, uh, the drip tape. So we also have the valves and of course we have uh, the rubbers. So these rubbers is what is going to ensure that it is not leaking at the point of connection uh, with uh, your water container. Whether it is the jerry can, it is the bucket or the sky plus containers. So these are the necessary things you need to do your bucket drip irrigation. So we are going to show a sample using jerry can, another sample using the bucket, the big one and the small one, and another one using the other one. So we are going to uh, demonstrate with all of these. And of course, you need a stand. You need somewhere that is going to, you're going to put your bucket or your container with water somewhere raised so that the water is able to flow gravity so we have a simple uh, a DIY stand so there are different stands there um, that you can make to just ensure that the water is raised so we are just going to use uh, this one for now this one we has been here in the farm we are using it in the mushroom farm so we normally use it to climb the higher shelves so uh, for, for now, for this demonstration, we are going to use it as one of um, our stands at the farm. So thank you so much. Let's go to the next phase, which we are going to now connect these valves uh, to the containers. So we have to drill them, the holes, and fit them well. So I have a plumber with me today who is going to do the work. And then from that point, we are going to go to the farm where we are going to settle uh, uh, or set up the drip, the bucket drip irrigation. So thank you so much. Stay tuned.